Good morning. This is Art Attack with Jack. And this is my first video. And I'm talking about art because that's what I like. And um, I, um, I started drawing. The first time I remember drawing, I was, I don't know, 9 or 10 years old. And I was in church, the First Baptist Church in Bruton, Alabama to be exact. And the preacher was talking and I was bored. There's some of my paintings in the background. Um, and so I, I remember always drawing on the little boats and people on the, um, the church programs. And, um, my first art show, I was too young to drive. I don't know if I was 14 or 15 and, uh, I won first place in the, in the show and some people offered from out of town offered to buy the painting I won first place with and I had called it Picasso's wife's sister and Picasso was my favorite artist and um, I, I wouldn't sell it to him for 500 bucks because I would have I liked the painting more than I would have liked the 500 bucks and so it's hanging in my little brother's room John and it's kind of a family treasure it's a big pen and ink black pen and ink um, with one green eye Anyway, that's uh, I'm 56 now, so that painting I did it, I guess, when I was 15. So it's pretty old. Um, anyway, maybe I was 14. But um, I do folk art, or outsider art, self-taught art. The only art lessons I ever had were from Josephine Gillis when I was a lady that lived down the street from us in Bruton. And... Um, now I live in, in Northwest Florida. And I'm going to show you some of the paintings. And what one thing I really want to do is encourage people that don't paint, that want to paint, to paint. Um, people say, oh, well, I can't draw. I wish I could draw. If you like art and you, you are, and you have something inside of you that wants to paint, that's all you need. You know, I couldn't draw anything the way it really looks. You know, I did do a picture in a high school art class of Richard Nixon that looked like a photograph. But I, that's not enjoyable to me, you know. And it's, I don't really have that gift that some artists do of drawing something the way it looks. I draw out of my head. I don't normally know what I'm going to paint. I paint. I don't really draw. I paint stuff out of my head like these three people. I'll show them to you. Um... That's three of the paintings. This is a Valentine's I painted for uh, my girlfriend, Angela. And um, she's like, is that you? And I'm like, no, that's you. <laughs> but then I had to admit, yeah, that's me. I'm the, the heart guy. Here's another one. And um, excuse me for the camera being so jumping around like that. But anyway... Um, I, I want to encourage you, and, and I'll, I'll help you figure out what kind of supplies to use and everything. If you want to paint and you don't paint, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get a sheet of the least expensive thin plywood. And um, I'm, going, I'm taking you to show you some other paintings. Uh, here's one here. It's a woman with one side's dark and one side's light. She has a set of scales. Um, obviously, we all have our light and dark side, but sometimes I recognize it more in women than in myself. Um, anyway, sorry about that, but um, and the women probably recognize it in me more than I recognize it in myself. Okay, here's another painting that's um, uh, done in 19, oh, 2006 actually. And, okay, so, if you, in, oh, here's another one that I just did a homemade frame on. Uh, somebody says, is that a self-portrait? I hate to admit self-portraits, but yeah. That's a flower that I did. And I paint on plywood, like I was saying. You can go get a thin sheet of plywood at the um, hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's. And they'll cut it for you. 
and so you can get it cut into whatever size you want to draw on. I, I've never stretched a canvas um, that way, you know, for if I get a sheet of plywood for 12 bucks and have it cut into, I don't know, six pieces, then, you know, they're $2, then my canvases are costing me $2 a piece. And um, I get the little acrylic paint that dries fast. It comes in great colors. It's normally like 55 cents for a little bottle. But then you can also go to um, yard sales and stuff and buy uh, acrylic paint, like gallons of leftover paint or whatever, and you can keep it in Tupperware containers so that it doesn't get hard. And it's easy to open and use. And uh, Walmart has a good selection, has a selection of brushes, but you just you kind of start collecting brushes wherever you go. You know, if you go to a yard sale, if you go to a flea market, you know, I bought a thing at the TNW flea market in Pensacola the other day. It's like six big brushes for a dollar. You know, and um, I don't know how many brushes I have, but your brushes are your, they're your sweethearts, you know. And um, when I paint, you know, sometimes I'll paint ten paintings in a day. You know, I have painted probably as many as 30 in a day, but you see what my paintings look like. They're like these guys on the wall here. They're, um, I don't really think about it. I just paint. And if you, what I really want to do is encourage you, you know, there's a young man that uh, locally here that I always see him at the Charles Johnson Art Gallery, and he didn't paint, and I threw a board in front of him and some brushes, and I had my paint out, and I said, paint. And he was he obviously liked painting because he's hanging out at the art gallery, you know. So he's like, who, me? What do I paint? And I said, just paint, you know. So he started painting, and I saw him at a fundraiser the other day, and I said, what have you been doing, James? And he said, I've been painting, thanks to you. And, you know, it's the only thing that you have to accomplish when you paint is enjoyment. You know, if you enjoy it, you're a success. You don't ever have to show anybody your paintings. You can turn them over. I, most of my paintings have a painting on both sides of the plywood. I very rarely like one of my paintings. I just like to paint. You know, and then once in a while something will click and I'll get in that zone and I really like it. And then when I try to reproduce or do more of them, then I get out of the zone. And um, But it's, it's about having fun. You know, it's about taking that whatever's inside of you and putting it on a board how you're feeling sometimes my paintings are real bright because that's what's going on inside of me and sometimes they're real dark because that's what's going on inside of me and so you know it's a good outlet a good release and um, anybody can do it you don't have to have art lessons you and um, with this uh these videos I'm going to be doing, I'll show you how to do it and I'll help you do it. I'll also interview art galleries and artists that I like. And um, I mainly like people that do kind of weird stuff, you know, or, you know, like there's a friend of mine, Sally, that, I, you know, hers are not weird, but she does birds. And she just started painting like six months ago. And she does these gorgeous birds that when I see the bird, you know, like a big four foot high crane, you know, it's like you're standing in Apalachicola Swamp somewhere watching this bird fly in and, you know, it's and, and eat fish and, and then take off. And it's, when you see that painting, that's what it brings to me. And, she, you know, she just started six months ago, but I, I love to see that. I love to see people that, um, I don't really like to see somebody that sits and looks at a rose and tries to paint the rose the way, you know, I mean... I, I just don't enjoy that. You know, maybe some people do. I enjoy just, um, I don't know, I guess the bird, what difference is it? I You know, everything I paint comes out of my head. I don't draw it first, and I don't really think about it too much. I just do it. And then, you know, sometimes it gets right, and I keep painting, and then I screw it up. And sometimes... It's bad, and I keep painting, and it's still bad, and I keep painting, and then something clicks and pops, and it's like, boom, okay, now I like it. And the challenge for me then is to stop painting instead of continuing to paint until it um, until I don't like it. 
and in some of the later videos I'll show you my I'll show you my flowers that I paint and somebody asked me what kind of flowers are those and I'm like I, I have no idea I just put a bunch of colors on the palette and um, and I paint you know I usually will paint a either a neutral background on the board or black I like to paint on a black background or white or light blue those are kind of my favorite backgrounds but you can you know you can paint a bunch of boards the backgrounds and then come back and do your painting a few hours later when the acrylic dries anyway I'm, I'm hoping to in share my enthusiasm about art with you and about artists and um and inspire you to paint also um or to go enjoy other people's art you know taking a trip down to Apalachicola is always a fun thing you know taking a trip to Charles Johnson's art gallery you know he has many artists in there it's a little shop but um, you can spend a uh, you know a half a day in there looking at the flipping around through the different artist original works okay have a great day and uh, I'll talk to you later